Teasdale, 1884, 1933, 49 years. A selection of poems from her book, Flame and Shadow, 1926, Slats. I should be glad of loneliness and hours that go on broken wings, a thirsty body, a tired heart, and the unchanging ache of things if I could make a song as lovely and full of light, as hushed and brief as a falling star on a winter night. The net. I made you many and many a song, yet never one told all you are. It was as though a net of words were flung to catch a star. It was as though I curved my hand and dipped sea water eagerly, only to find it lost the blue dark splendor of the sea. New moon. Day, you have bruised and beaten me as rain beats down the bright proud sea. Beaten my body, bruised my soul, left me nothing lovely or whole. Yet, I have wrested a gift from you, a day that dies in dusky blue. For suddenly over the factories I saw a moon in the cloudy seas, a wisp of beauty all alone in a world as hard and gray as stone. Oh, who could be bitter and want to die when a maiden moon wakes up in the sky? The broken field. My soul is a dark ploughed field in the cold rain. My soul is a broken field ploughed by pain. Where grass and bending flowers were growing, the field lies broken now for another sowing. Great sower, when you tread my field again, scatter the furrows there with better grain. The Unseen Death went up the hall, unseen by everyone, trailing twilight robes past the nurse and the nun. He paused at every door and listened to the breath of those who did not know how near they were to death. Death went up the hall, unseen by nurse and nun. He passed by many a door, but he entered one. A prayer. When I am dying, let me know that I loved the blowing snow, although it stung like whips, that I loved all lovely things and tried to take their stings with gay, unembittered lips, that I loved with all my strength to my soul's full depth and length, careless if my heart must break that I sang as children sing, fitting tunes to everything, loving life for its own sake. Nightfall. We will never walk again as we used to walk at night, watching our shadows lengthen under the gold street light when the snow was new and white. We will never walk again slowly, we too, in spring, when the park is sweet with midnight and with dew, and the passers-by are few. I just think of it all, 
and the blue June twilight dies. Down in the clanging square, a street piano cries, and stars come out in the skies. Mayday. A delicate fabric of bird song floats in the air. The smell of wet, wild earth is everywhere. Red small leaves of the maple are clenched like a hand. Like girls at their first communion, the pear trees stand. Oh, I must pass nothing by without loving it much. The raindrop try with my lips, the grass with my touch. For how can I be sure I shall see again the world on the first of May shining after the rain? The wine. I cannot die, who drank delight from the cup of the crescent moon, and hungrily, as men eat bread, love the scented nights of June. The rest may die, but is there not some shining, strange escape for me, who sought in beauty the bright wine of immortality? Moonlight. It will not hurt me when I am old. The running tide where moonlight burned will not sting me like silver snakes. The years will make me sad and cold. It is the happy heart that breaks. The heart asks more than life can give. When that is learned, then all is learned. The waves break, fold on jeweled fold, but beauty itself is fugitive. It will not hurt me when I am old. Morning Song A diamond of a morning waked me an hour too soon. Dawn had taken in the stars and left the faint white moon. Oh, white moon, you are lonely. It is the same with me. But we have the world to roam over. Only the lonely are free. If death is kind, perhaps if death is kind, there can be returning. We will come back to earth some fragrant night and take these lanes to find the sea and bending breathe the same honeysuckle low and white. We will come down at night to these resounding beaches and the long gentle thunder of the sea. Here for a single hour in the wide starlight, we shall be happy, for the dead are free. The Sanctuary If I could keep my innermost me fearless, aloof, and free of the least breath of love or hate, and not disconsolate, at the sick load of sorrow laid on men. If I could keep a sanctuary there free even of prayer, if I could do this then with quiet candor as I grew more wise, I could look even at God with grave forgiving eyes.